James Chadwick was born on 20th October 1891 in Bolentine, Cheshire. He was the first child of three children born by John Joseph Chadwick, a cotton spinner, and Anne Mary Knowles, a domestic servant. James was named after his paternal grandfather. His parents moved to Manchester in 1895 and left him in the care of his grandparents. James was enrolled in Ballantine Cross Primary School to begin his basic education. He was a very brilliant student and did excellently in his academics. Due to his excellent performance, he was offered a scholarship for Manchester Grammar School. However, the scholarship did not cover all of his fees and he was still required to pay a part of his fees. His parents were so poor that they could not afford to pay their part. James had to turn down the scholarship offer and joined Manchester Central Boys High School, which is the modern-day Manchester Academy, instead. After he finished high school, he proceeded to the University of Manchester in 1908, where he mistakenly chose physics as his major instead of mathematics, which he had always wanted to study. Nevertheless, James did very well in physics that by the end of his first year in school, he won Hagen Bottom Scholarship. Then, Professor Ernest Rutherford was the head of the physics department. Rutherford was later referred to as the father of nuclear physics. Rutherford was so impressed by James that he gave him the task of finding a means of comparing the amount of radioactive energy of two different sources. James accomplished this quite successfully. James graduated in 1911 with a first-class honors degree. He proceeded with his MSc degree at the same university. All through his master's degree, James was in close contact with Rutherford. In 1912, James and Rutherford co-authored a paper which contained James' findings for comparing the amount of radioactive energy of two different sources. James received his MSc degree in 1913. That same year, James received the 1851 Exhibition Scholarship, with which James went to Germany to study beta radiation in the Physikalische Technische Rechenstalt at Charlottenburg under Professor H. Gierger. James used Gierger's recently developed Gierger counter to demonstrate that beta radiation usually produces a continuous spectrum and not discrete lines, as it had been thought. James was still in Germany when World War I broke out. He, together with several citizens from Allied countries, was interned at German prison camp Ruling Ben Interment Camp for four years. He was, however, allowed to build a makeshift lab at a stable where he conducted his experiments with makeshift materials. James returned to England in 1918 and was offered a part-time teaching job at the University of Manchester. This position enabled him to continue his research. James later joined Rutherford in 1919 at his Cavendish Laboratory at the University of Cambridge. James was awarded Wollaston Studentship in 1920. This enabled him to apply for his PhD degree at Govan and Chaos College, Cambridge. He earned his PhD degree in 1921. After graduation, James was elected as a fellow of the Gonville and Chaos College. Two years later, in 1923, James was made an assistant director of research at Cavendish Laboratory while Rutherford was the director. James got married to Aileen Stewart Brown, the daughter of a Liverpool stockbroker, in August 1925. The couple gave birth to twin daughters, Joanna and Judith, in 1927. That same year, James was again elected a Fellow of the Royal Society. James made the most notable discovery of his life in 1932. While working at Cavendish Laboratory at Cambridge, he proved the existence of the neutron, which could be further used as a new tool of atomic disintegration. His discovery later paved the way for the creation of atomic bombs. James established that neutron is a basic particle that does not contain electrical charge and therefore, unlike helium, it does not need to overcome any electric barrier. It is therefore capable of penetrating as well as splitting the nuclei of even the heaviest atoms. James quit his work at the University of Cambridge in 1935. That same year, he received an offer from the University of Liverpool. At Liverpool, James was elected to the Leon Jones Chair of Physics and assumed the position on October 1, 1935.
James's first major work at the school was to improve the infrastructure at the university. Since the total estimated cost of the renovation was more than the money received as a grant, James paid the balance from his pocket. He used the money he received as Nobel Prize that very year. James was on a holiday with his family in northern Sweden when World War II broke out in 1939. He quickly returned to England using whatever available means and promptly joined his duty. Later that year, James received a letter from the Secretary of the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research seeking his opinion on the possibility of creating an atomic bomb. James did not dismiss the idea. He instead foresaw the many difficulties that may arise. In 1940, Rudolf Pierls and Otto Frisch of the University of Birmingham announced the feasibility of fast fusion in uranium-235. Soon after, the military application of uranium detonation MOD committee was organized and James was one of the members. The team of scientists now led by James was next assigned the task of determining the nuclear cross-section of uranium-235. In 1941, the team submitted his report and a few months later, James Chadwick was asked to write the final draft of the Maud Committee report. The report was finally presented to President Roosevelt in October 1941. At the same time, it became evident that it may not be possible for Britain to create an atomic bomb alone. At the same time, the United States of America had already invested millions of dollars on similar Manhattan project. The US was not interested in cooperating with Britain on the project but was eager to make use of James's talent. As a result, a Quebec agreement was signed, which resulted in the cooperation between Great Britain, the USA, and Canada. James became the head of the British mission and moved to the USA. James was in the USA from 1943 to 1946. He was present at the meeting where it was decided to drop the atomic bomb on Japan. He was also a witness when the first atomic bomb was detonated at the Trinity nuclear test on July 16, 1945. James returned to England in 1946, but physically and mentally exhausted. He was knighted by the British government for his contribution during wartime and he became Sir James Chadwick. He was awarded the Medal of Merit in 1946 by the US government. He became the master of Gonville and Chaos College in 1948. His tenure. He increased the number of research fellowships from 31 to 49 and also brought talent into the college. It was also during James's mastership that James Watson and Francis Crick, a doctorate student at Gonville and Chaos College, discovered the structure of DNA. He served in this capacity till 1959. Also between 1957 and 1962, James was inducted as a part-time member in the United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority. James passed away in his sleep on the 24th of July 1974 at the age of 82 in Cambridge, England. After his death, James was described by Lorna Arnold, the official historian of the United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority, as a physicist, a scientist diplomat, and a good, wise, and humane man. The Chadwick Laboratory at the University of Liverpool was named after him. Also in 1991, the Sir Chadwick Chair of Experimental Physics was created as part of the centenary celebration of his birth. James also has a crater on the moon in his name. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.